So here's uh, Fairhaven, Washington. Very bike friendly place. That's my friend Bill there. So here's a smoke shop here. The Fairhaven Smoke Shop. And here's a window in. Looks like there's some people in there. There we go. The Fairhaven Smoke Shop. So he's got a few church wardens here in the window. And uh, let's see, I haven't asked him, but we'll step in. <laughs> you never know, you might, you might find there's a running yeah. atmosphere. See, I need your I'm just making a little video here. Oh, are you? Because this is a special place. <laughs> it yeah. is a special place. Yeah. yeah. And I've got a little pipe smoking blog on YouTube. Oh, that's it. So. Oh, how um, nice. Yeah, so oh, maybe. Wonderful. You sure you locked the door tonight? You might be a little <laughs> yeah, right. You know, I never even yeah, thought of that. Off the Doberman. Yeah, that's a scary thought. <laughs> and then we'll go over to the pipes here. See, and there's a lot of bulk tobacco. Oh, yeah. Canned bulk. Great stuff. And then all kinds of stuff. And some of, wow, some I've never seen. Huh. But the, um, the bulk blinds here are pretty special. He's got a lot going on here. And then here's some pipes. Yeah, good selection of pipes. And he used to have some Mario Grandis. It's been a while since I've been in here, but there's amazing big pipes. 19, right? Interesting. And then in back. I mean, that's a lot of pipes. That's a lot of those little leather pipe breasts. Too. So anyway, a really great place. And if you're ever in the Bellingham area, you really owe it to yourself to stop in here. Michael's a great guy. And uh, it's a neat shop. Michael, the proprietor here, the owner. So when did you get started, Mike? Uh, I've been in business for about six and a half years now. Uh, really? I started in 2005. At this location? At this location. Wow, right. okay. Um, so when I bought the shop originally, it was kind of a, a rundown uh, place. So I've been was it a smoke shop? It was, yeah. Oh, um, okay. It was more of a cigar shop. We didn't really have a whole lot of pipe stuff. Yeah, right. Um, so I tried to bring that back because uh, there's not many places around where you can go find uh, nice pipe tobacco and pipes. Right. Oh, Nowadays, yeah. most smoke shops are just cigars only or oh, yeah. cigarettes or that kind of thing. So. Right. Um, so what have you seen changes in the last six and a half years? As far as uh, the, the clientele or just... Yeah, anything? and just kind of a trend that you've seen. Um, what I'm most surprised about is the vitality of the industry despite all the new regulations and the tax increases. Uh -huh. Um, it feels like every year there's a new tax increase or a new threat to the industry, and right. uh, um, I've kind of gotten over that, that doomsday uh, uh, mentality that I, I had. I could be shut down. Yeah, I always had that fear. Six months. Um, I'm just impressed with uh, uh, people's willingness to continue to come and shop despite the yeah. increasing taxes and regulations. Right, and kind of the Walmartization of or commoditization of, especially cigarettes, of course. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, cigarettes you can just throw out the door. I mean, you can get those anywhere. There's yeah. nothing particularly special about them. Right. And nowadays, with all the with all the regulations, you can't even get good imported cigarettes anymore. You're just limited to domestics. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Um, huh. So cigarettes, there's, you know, there's no real story there. Right. Um, they're just here out of convenience. But uh, Well, and then for... Pipes and pipe tobacco. I don't know about cigars. Probably cigars too. Uh, the web 
has oh. probably been a huge influence. Yeah, it has. Um, it, there's a good and bad with uh, with online shopping. Right. You know, when you buy on the internet, um, you don't have to pay any of the tobacco taxes that you would normally pay in a brick right. and mortar store. Yeah. Um, so it's hard to compete with them. But the the good side of that is is that uh, customers can go online. They can see all the new lines that are coming out. Right. They can compare all the different sizes and wrappers that are available. So uh, people that are coming in are, have definitely been influenced by that. Oh, okay. A little more educated exactly. maybe on what's available. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it's just hard to explain why uh, brick and mortar prices are more more expensive compared yeah. to the online. Well, I mean, Most of that is the taxes. Yeah, but you look around. I mean, it takes a certain amount of overhead to keep this and the overhead right yeah definitely. yeah plus um you know like just with your bulk pipe tobaccos and stuff it's so great to be able to actually see the tobacco not oh, yeah. just in a photograph on a website but then to get a whiff of the jar aroma sure is yeah, well, awesome how else, how else would you know what you're getting well exactly it's Unless i guess really my your favorite right yeah but and same with a pipe, you know, to actually hold it in your hand yeah. um, is is awesome compared to just like taking a chance, oh, this might be great or it might not. Yeah, I don't know how you how you would go about shopping for a pipe online with real confidence, you know. Cause well, I, yeah, I mean, some of them like, um, I'm trying to, I don't even remember the name of some of those places, but they have super detailed photos and measurements and so forth, and then a sort of a florid description of okay. the pipe you know so you can, you can more or less yeah yeah but i mean that's as far as that goes yeah you know so um so uh, we were talking a little earlier about young pipe smokers and hey, Greg. oh there you go there you are. the Hi. mailman <laughs> um You've seen, uh, and this being a college town, not Fairhaven so much, but Bellingham yeah. certainly. Yeah, well, there's um, a big university here in Bellingham. Yeah. Um, so I think no matter what, you would see a lot of college students in the, sh in the shops. Yeah. I've definitely noticed over the past few years an increase in the amount of interest with younger people in, in pipe smoking. Uh -huh. And cigar smoking, too, to an extent. But so, uh, see, I was thinking cigar smoking was kind of declining while pipe smoking was sort of growing. Yeah, I think cigar smoking will always have its its core uh, place in in society. Uh -huh. um, pipes kind of ebb and flow yeah. a little more, um, but pipes are definitely on the upswing, especially with younger people. Oh, okay. Uh, huh. I've seen a lot of interest with college students recently with pipes. Yeah, yeah, and um, interesting. Are they buying mostly aromatic or? Um, yeah, that's that's kind of where they lean toward uh, initially, and that's a safer choice. Yeah. You know, and to some extent. Well, to some extent. To some extent, Although right. you can get tongue. Yeah, rip you don't want to get anything that's like really sugary or, or too sweet, but you know, just a nice mellow aromatic is usually yeah. uh, the safest bet for a brand new pipe smoker. But I always try and, and get them over time to go towards some of the Virginias, and right. Orientals. They have a little flavor. A little more, yeah, personality. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's rim note, but, you know, you're not getting much out of it except yeah, exactly. nicotine. And I mean, are you smoking for yourself or f for the people that pass you on the street? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'd say for, you know, for every five people that come in and buy a pipe, maybe maybe three or two or three will actually stick with it and make it out oh, of okay. theirs. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's definitely an, uh, a renewed interest in pipe smoking. Uh -huh. Cool. Yeah, so I was kind of curious. Yeah, good. Well, hey, thanks a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. I appreciate it. Definitely. Yeah, good yeah. luck to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll try and support you as much as possible. Um, bricks and mortar definitely has a place. and um, it's, There's something about it. You, know, you just don't see a, a cigar shop or a pipe shop too often anymore. So, right. Um, I yeah. feel pretty lucky to be part of it. Yeah, and this is a real nice one. Too, Thank so. you very much. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Thanks, you too. Yeah.